Hello everybody, it's Becky and I'm here with my favorite person, Brandon Boudreau. And Brandon is here to talk to us about a very important organization that he is currently involved with, as are quite a few of our the younger members of our community, yeah, which yeah. I'm really happy to see. So can you tell me a bit about that? Sure, yeah. The name of the committee is the Arishat Community Development Association. And what we're currently working on is our new recreation park for the area, which would take place right next to Ecobopor and Arishat. Um, so with that, basically, it's not going to be cheap. We're, we're applying for funding and we're doing some fundraising. But the way it works is in order to receive some of these government grants, we need to show that we are working towards our goal and we're trying to help ourselves. So that's where the importance of our Chase the Ace comes in. Um, once we can raise some money and put some backing behind us, then we'll be more um, attractive to receive some of these grants. So in order to get this done, it may take five years, it may take two years, but the moral of the story is that everybody on this committee is not going to stop until it's built. So if the chase the ace is getting annoying, we'll get ready because you're going to keep seeing it because we are very determined to bring something like this to our area. Well, I'll tell you what, whether it takes two years or five years or 10 years, it's a fantastic, yeah. fantastic Yeah, addition. I really think the youth in our area deserve something like this. The whole community deserves something like this because from what I understand, uh, from speaking to Rochelle at one point, yep. And watching the presentations, the really well done yeah, presentations did she did through, through yeah. council. She's our president, you know, and we're, we're lucky to have her. You sure are. She's a real go-getter. Um, I understand. It, it actually is good, going to be good for the whole community. Yep. Elderly, yep. disabled, yep. Um, well, children with special needs, yep. puppies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we're going to have the dog park incorporated there along with the walking yep. track around the whole perimeter. Yep. And we're also working on some outdoor fitness equipment. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping even residents of Hearts and stuff like that can walk on up and take a walk around the track or yeah. things like that. So well, with the new sidewalks, that yep. actually... It'll lead right it, to it. Oh, so yeah. It'll be a lot, a lot better. And Absolutely. So now the Chase the Ace, let's talk about that event first. Sure. I actually won Chase the Ace. You one did. Week and I was so excited. Yeah. So now people can buy Chase the Ace tickets at uh, Jean T's. Yes. And they can buy them. The Corner Bridge and Esso in West Area. And right now our jackpot is $2,110.50. Yeah. Which should be mine or somebody else. Yeah. Right, when they yeah. Buy it's it's going to go. Yeah, I know. And I do tune in every week. Nice. Even Thank if you. I forget to buy a ticket but you shouldn't really use that as an excuse because you can e-transfer i've done yep. that as well yeah our e-transfer options there you can send an e-transfer to airyshat cda at gmail.com we fill out the ticket for you and every gets placed in the draw we have quite a few of our winners are actually e-transfer uh, recipients so it's good to see it gives that option where people may not be moving around as much during these difficult times but that option is still there and lots of people are using it and we're hoping even more begin to use it yeah because Really, now that people are out and around more, you know, buy those tickets. It's for a worthy cause. Smart and lady. That extra money in the bank doesn't help, doesn't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's just one of the things that you guys are doing. I also saw a a draw for lobsters. Yeah. And a few other I items. Can you tell me about that? Sure. Yeah. So first, we have a Canada Day package that we're selling tickets on. Um, that there, we had a couple local lobster fishermen donate some lobster to us. We picked up some lawn games, which would have badminton, volleyball, and a s'mores kit. Oh. So on July 1st, there'll be three draws. Each package has 15 pounds of lobster and one in each of those kits. Really great to see things opening up. Yeah, and hopefully with things starting to open up, people will really see the importance and the need of a project like this in our area, and maybe our sales will go up. The quicker the public gets on board with this and helps us raise some money, hopefully the quicker we can get this project built for everyone. Now, last but not least, or currently, I want to talk about the excitement that I had when I heard there was going to be a ball tournament. Yeah, so uh, we're, we're going back to our roots here where we used to have lots of softball tournaments. What we're doing is on July 2nd, 4th weekend, we're hosting a softball tournament. We have eight teams confirmed and uh, we're going to be at the field pretty well all day, f Saturday and Sunday, and then there'll just be two evening games on Friday. During the time there, we're going to have a barbecue going so you can grab a bite to eat, watch a couple ball games. You know, it'd be a good way to kick off summer. 
hopefully we get some nice weather and everything goes smoothly and that's just another way that we're trying to fundraise to help this project get off the ground. And I believe if uh, we are in phase two at that time, which we are, are supposed to be, yep. the uh, outdoor limits will be quite uh, quite a bit larger. Yeah, yep, we're so, hoping. Co with co all COVID restrictions in mind, which, you know, we'll keep our fingers crossed. I think yep. we're looking good in Nova yep. Scotia. Knock on wood. Um, how exciting to see ball being played on the Pettit, is in the Pettit field? Yep, the big oh, baseball field. How fantastic. Hopefully, you know, if even if we want to re run a little late, we'll flick those lights on ah. and hopefully everybody <laughs> will come join and celebrate and watch a good cause, you know? Yeah, it's funny ha how we think about it, but you know, it's the good old days we think yep. about now, but the good old days were only a year and a half ago. Yep. Yeah, and I think <laughs> it, it'd be important for people around here to get back to that oh. lifestyle. Most people that live here, it's one of the reasons they love it for that culture that we have. So we're going to try and take that thing that we all love around here and turn it into a way that we can help this project out. Yeah. Well, I wish you guys all the best in the world. I will always be a supporter of yours. Yeah, Tello has been great so no, far. We, and, we are definitely you know, appreciative. What a wonderful initiative. Yeah, and like I said, it may not happen this year. It may not happen next but it will happen. I know all the other board members are just as excited and determined as I am, and we're gonna see this happen no matter how long it takes. Well, I wanna see it, I wanna see it happen sooner than later. I agree. And by the way, congratulations on the new addition to oh, the Oh, well, thank you. Just another one that I'd like that playground for. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> by, the time, by the time he grows up, hopefully oh, it'll Oh, I be hope so. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming, Brandon. Thank you for having me. Anything you need, let us know. Absolutely, okay. thank you. Okay, great. Make sure you support this association. They are doing great things. They're thinking about the future. I, I think it's a win-win for everybody. And enjoy the sunshine.